I think I would look at it from the perspective of why compete. Mm -hmm. And I'll give the analogy of Kleenex. Kleenex isn't what the actual item is called, it's tissue. Right. But you know of it as Kleenex because Air Kleenex has branded themselves as the item. Yeah. Same way as, as uh, like, I forget the baby wipes or whatever mm -hmm. it is. You know that, that right. product by the brand. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what you refer it to. Mm -hmm. But for Marriott, one suggestion or strategy that I would, would bring to the table is why compete with Airbnb? Why don't mm -hmm. we just brand ourselves as the premium home sharing? Yeah, and then you can that's stay at the top of the market and charge the top of the market prices mm -hmm. and just let Airbnb do what they do. But you just say if you want a better quality or consistent, consistent quality, quality. Yep. then you come here if you want Thank my you wife's know. experience. But if you want, <laughs> then, then go with Airbnb. And, and not that there's anything wrong with Airbnb. It's mm -hmm. just a, a different approach to right. a different type of client that yep. you're looking right. for. And maybe that's the idea. I agree with that approach. And then they can create a niche market and just focus in on that area. And then that also allows them to generate the profits that they're used to. Yeah. I think it would be very hard to compete with the Marriott brand and quality with the Airbnb prices. Yeah. And that's so that's good. the matchup that I don't think that they have right now. Or that's the vision that's hard for me to see. Yeah. But as a, a willing customer and a loyal customer to Marriott, I have no problem hey. with them being the high end. Right option mm -hmm. then right. that leaves the experience of if we do go on a trip to say europe to say hey chris you want the experience you know two out of the four places we can do Airbnb, both worlds and right. two places we can have a nice high-end experience yeah. and really be on vacation right. and not an adventure mm -hmm. some of those places <laughs> were an adventure like let's just say that so i agree with that approach yeah. i agree with that approach and yeah. i feel like it gives the market two options mm -hmm. right and then it's such a huge market i think there's room for everybody to have That's their own piece point. of the puzzle right yeah that's a fair point and i would definitely say um so marriott if you are listening i hope you are watching my show enjoy the show business talk library <laughs> <laughs> If you need, it, hey, <laughs> if you need me to be a spokesperson, I am Don't in work. your corner. We will. I will we say. Will travel. We will travel. We will travel from Marriott. Okay. Options to ensure that there are no. I don't know. Marriott quality. I don't know. Call me. I don't know. She will test out the Airbnbs. She will test out Marriott quality. And I will let you know if it's you know if it does not meet exactly. the standards. What, what exactly. I would definitely say is, is is what really when I'm traveling at times when we're looking at places, what really kind of, I guess, nudges the decision towards Marriott is the fact that I get loyalty points for everywhere I stay. Now, it, with this home sharing, Marriott, if you figure out how to continue to give, even if it's a fraction of what we would get at a full that Marriott, if I can still yeah. get my points, I'm telling you, I would, yeah, whatever the air, whatever the Marriott um, home sharing I guess application is I'm like hey you know what let's, let's, let's switch over like we got to get those points and I want to <laughs> say that is oftentimes the decision when we make different decisions about where to stay especially when we're traveling by ourselves the question is oftentimes should we do Airbnb higher in quality or should we do Marriott and Terrell's answer is always well, we're going to get the points if, if we stay at Marriott. I want my points. He wants his points. So it's, just kind of, so it's just kind of like, if you guys can create a brand where it's the home sharing experience, you get a bigger space, you know, it's not just the bedroom, but also you get points. I mean, that would be great because, mm -hmm. you know, you can use that towards something else in the future. Right? Yes. And I, I would say great. shout out to Marriott for rebranding Marriott Bonvoy. Yes. That, that is I still a, don't know what bon voy means. Do you know well, what bon, like voy bon voyage? Like bon voyage. Bon voyage. Like oh, okay. Safe trip, travels. Journey, okay. Safe travels. Okay. And I, that is a reason why I'm a very loyal uh, mm -hmm. Marriott person as well, or member, you know, titanium. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but to say that, to say that, that's an excellent point that you make. Mm -hmm. Like loyalty and being rewarded for your loyalty right. and bring people back. Right, exactly. And I'm not aware if Airbnb or any of the other home sharing sites allow loyalty. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I don't but think so. That is a great advantage that Marriott has is that now you can stay at home sharing here, get the same points, use those points to stay at a hotel. Right. Or yes. vice versa. It's still you get points for participating and being a, a, a loyal member. So that is an excellent point. Yeah, that's a really great point. Yeah, and I think that, that that definitely gives Marriott some advantages. Now, not to be completely dismissive of Airbnb. 
Um, I like Airbnb. I, I, Contrary Airbnb, to my... I, I, we get lucky sometimes. Love love. Airbnb, we get lucky sometimes. Yes, we do. Yes. Yeah. No love law. No love law. I would say if I were an executive at Airbnb and I saw this coming on, one of the things that I would really have to understand as Airbnb is say, okay, all right, hey, what really is our market like? What is really our target? Because I think when you're taking on the competition of, of a competitor that has deeper pockets and that has a bigger brand is you can't try to hit them from every side. You got to figure out, That's hey, what's our strength exactly. and how do we play to our strength and, exactly. and how do we just work the heck out of what we're good at? Because if you try to take them head on, more than likely, Marriott will swallow them. I think yeah. cost leadership is their biggest strength right mm. now in regards to competing against Marriott. But if they could also create some kind of standardization in regards to the level of quality, I'm not saying that it has to be the five star, but if everything could be one star, two star, whatever that yeah. is, I know that when I book at Airbnb, there will be towels. Yes. Or something okay. to that nature. Right. I think that can help build their brand right. mm -hmm. as well and not necessarily compete with Marriott, but at least consumers will know at least I know what I'm getting when I get right. into an Airbnb and I know what yeah. I'm getting when I get into the Marriott home share. Yes. And I think they, they tried to address the whole quality thing because now mm -hmm. I know there's like Airbnb, I forget what it's called, Luxury Plus, Airbnb Plus. Yes, okay. Which is a higher end quality, but I mean, it, you don't always, the delivery isn't always there. Right. Um, and I think that's where the challenge and the struggle is. So I think for me, I think Airbnb has two advantages. I think the first advantage they have is the fact that they are creating that experience, right? Mm -hmm. um, you get to live like a local where you go. I mean, I think they should take that and run with it mm -hmm. to compete against Marriott. I think the second thing where they have an advantage would be when it comes to really promoting the people who get to make money from Airbnb, from yes. Airbnb, right? So for the entrepreneur, for mm -hmm. the person that wants extra money, like for the that. one that's saving, you know, for to get a, to get I don't know a new house, for the one that's doing. So basically, make it about the host yeah. yes. and brand it as if, hey, we're helping you right. advance your goals and right. you're yes. giving people an experience somewhere to stay. I think those are the two things because I don't think Marriott is thinking, how can we put money in people's, other people's pockets? Yeah, I right. think Marriott is thinking, how can we put more money in our pocket right. and step into this market? So I think that those are the two things that Airbnb will be able to really dif distinguish themselves from, from Marriott. And, and to add to that point, my fear is that that entrepreneur is going to lose in the battle unless exactly. Airbnb really frames up their perspective and say, what we're after is to support the entrepreneur, the right. homeowner that has homes to share or is interested in, in sharing their home. If Airbnb tries to go up against Marriott the Goliath and starts to outprice it and starts mm -hmm. to compete mm -hmm. and starts to even really start cutting away some of the the cost effective places and go after the higher market then you're really going to make that homeowner lose exactly I mean, that's who's yeah. going to be I impacted think if by it. airbnb goes in that route or direction of marketing to the homeowner it's going to increase their inventory overnight because then yeah. everyone's going to feel like well i can always for the weekend make some extra money with airbnb exactly. it won't be this thing of a whole process it's like no they're looking for people like me yeah. they want people like yeah. me exactly. i should go ahead and do even if it's just for one night out of the year or you know whatever the requirement is i think their inventory is going to like increase right. drastically right. and i don't know if marriott will be able to compete with mm -hmm. that and right. the availability of housing that they will have over marriott and i just want to add another point another advantage of airbnb is that it fits the time that we're in right now you have the ubers mm -hmm. you have, right, Lyft, that's you have true. a lot of the dating apps that's everything true. is connecting app, right. interest with this interest and i'm just putting it together right marriott entering this market is saying oh i'm the big box retailer and i'm trying to figure out how to compete with amazon so I'm gonna step into the home delivery and make my shipping. Right. But right now, Amazon is the new thing for this day and age. Right. Your generation, your Ubers, your Airbnb. So it's going to be an interesting dynamic to see how this all plays out because I I feel like you have, and I and excuse this reference, traditional competing against new age mm -hmm. and seeing who's going to win. Right. The traditional is 
asset heavy, has the deep pockets and new ways, just knows how to put point A to point B right. fast and efficient and right. effective. So I'm curious. I'm excited for the competition. I mean, competition is always good for the capitalists. All it's going to do is give me more options. So right. I'm excited. I hope that more people may be brave enough to enter the market. Right. So, I mean, we'll see. Yep. And I think that is a great place to wrap it up because I also think, you know, it, it will be a great journey to watch. I mean, and it will be something that we all have front row seats to, mm -hmm. to where we can see how the strategies play out and definitely come back to this show because as the strategies play out more, we will definitely be talking about it more because, you know, there's so many different aspects of this to where you have the conversation about branding and then how do you build a brand and then also how do you deploy your brand to actually help your business grow and then also you have that aspect of you know how do you manage your capital allocations do you go out and build from the ground up or do you leverage assets that are already out there and you know those are the type of things we talk about on the show so thank you for tuning into this show until next time keep it simple